Robert L. Blackman is quoted as saying, Father is the noblest title a man can be given. It is more than a biological role. It signifies a patriarch, a leader, an exemplar, a confidant, a teacher, a hero, a friend. Those words aptly describe my father, my hero. Mr. Oswald Francis. I am proud to be called daddy's girl. As a child, I was always in my father's shadow. Wherever daddy was going, Connie definitely needed to be there. Whether it's taking mangoes out to far villages or going to the pasture to move cattle or a game of football or cricket, go into the classroom on a weekend to set up for Monday morning labs. I'm daddy's little lab assistant. Being five years older than my next sibling, I had lots of that singular daddy time before they came along. But it didn't matter when the other three came along because we all had these wonderful times going to the beach, playing games of cricket or dominoes or checkers or cards, just regular family time, sitting around the table, having dinner and conversation. And when my children came along, the best grandfather you would ever know. Huh, my daughter gets stories told. I remember you when your, fa when your grandfather would be pushing you in the stroller in food center on a Saturday morning when he went to pick up his newspaper. Or stories of, oh, I remember seeing Oswald pushing these twins in a double stroller going for his afternoon walk. That's the type of involved father and grandfather he was. Or even to take the children and their cousins and friends to Emilia Wilson Park on a Saturday and play cricket and baseball in the park. They loved, love, love, love having that relationship with their grandfather. And you know, my father, our hero, he was not just our father. As a teacher, he was a father to every student that stepped into his classroom. He taught every child as an individual. He never lumped them together. And each child, each student, was treated with respect and love. And as a result, he was, and still is, well-loved and respected, not only by his students, but by fellow educators and the parents of the students he taught. We often complain that we don't want to go anywhere with daddy anymore because everywhere you go, somebody's going to have to stop and have a long conversation with him and have a makeup conversation about the things that he missed. As a leader, as a journalist, as a political analyst, as a motivator, as a counselor, as a confidant to us, his four children and his five grandchildren and to all the countless persons that he's taught, whether at elementary, secondary school or in second chance situations in the prison or at Miss Lally Center. People just love my father because of the genuine person he is, caring, optimistic, always supporting, always encouraging. Life has never been easy for any of us, but I know that my life could not have been better with any other person as my father. And so today, I am proud 
to honor my father, my hero, Mr. Oswald G.S. Francis. From all of us, we like to say, if there is any immortality to be had among us human beings, it is certainly only in the love that we leave behind and the love that you continue to share to this day, to everyone you encounter, is a true sign of the hero that you are. Thank you.